Okay. Day six, semifinals, finals, results of interest for the 2022 World Aquatics Championships today, 22 June, 2022. This is the recitation format video for this segment to accompany the, uh, on YouTube to accompany the writing production on Wikipedia, which is kind of centered around my Wikipedia user page or at my Wikipedia user page. And there are links to playlists, the overview video here on YouTube, as well as my Wikipedia user page in the video description. And the countries of interest we describe here and lone penguins of interest we describe here are provided uh, both on the Wikipedia user page, my Wikipedia user page, and in the project overview video. So let's get started with logistics. I, this is uh, kind of writing related. So I'm releasing my phone number in a shorts format video. So that means vertical format in less than 60 seconds long tomorrow. For those interested um, today, it is uh, country code plus one, uh, area code 206, and then regular number 6052818. Please don't abuse the number. My purpose or attempt in giving out my phone number is I've been receiving, I can receive a lot of spam and scam calls. Uh, sometimes like five to ten calls a day and or text calls and texts a day and so this is to uh, there's one i got on I think it was 12 june 2022 that said they got it then my number from someone they didn't and it's i would not feel good if i got heard from one of my friends they said they got this number from you and i didn't give it up like that's it's kind of hurtful so i was like okay i'm gonna release it in a at least an attempted controlled manner here on YouTube. Um, so like not putting it in the video description, but putting it in a video. Um, to moderate, like if I get those spam calls, don't feel bad because the number is public. And it's already, phone numbers are like, you can Google people and there's usually phone numbers there. So in that sense, the, and it's, I didn't unlist it from the yellow book or yellow pages or whatever. So it, it is about public information, but I just thought this is like trying to moderate the spam calls and any feelings of guilt people who have my number might have. So, yeah. And then, so those first things. Second thing, my dream global scale sporting competition for me to compete in is an artistic swimming only and Muslim only world artistic swimming championships. That is as event name as a world that as event name as a world artistic swimming championships doesn't currently exist that is held consistently every year so full re repertoire of events open to both men and women so there isn't actually a world artistic swimming only championships and so yes also yes i am copywriting and trademarking the name world artistic swimming championships now in this video, effective immediately, to be shared with my fellow Muslims. I, like, it's, just a, it's a little dream. I, I think I've, I've gotten very animated and excited about artistic swimming through all of this in life. It'd be nice to have a place where we can do artistic swimming on a global scale and not be afraid because, I, and I, I'm not afraid because of my religion kind of thing. So that's just, it's a dream. Not. I, I've learned through life experience not all dreams come true, but I'm still throwing it out there as a dream. Okay, countries of interest results. So it was a fairly busy semifinals and final session. So up first, in the final of artistic swimming solo free routine, female, Japan won the gold medal, Italy placed fourth, and Canada placed ninth. In the semifinals of pool swimming and the 100 meter freestyle female, France and Great Britain competed. France advanced to the final. In the final of pool swimming, 100 meter freestyle male, France won the silver medal. Great Britain placed seventh and Italy placed eighth. In the final of pool swimming, 50 meter backstroke female, the Great Britain won the swim off with Italy for the eighth spot in the final. And then it's in that was leading up to between the semifinals yesterday and the final today that happened. And then in the final today, France won the bronze medal and Great Britain placed seventh. 
In the semifinals of pool swimming, 200 meter breaststroke male, Great Britain competed and did not advance to the final. In the final of pool swimming, 200 meter individual medley male, France won the gold medal, Great Britain placed fifth, and South Africa placed eighth. In the semifinals of pool swimming, 200 meter breaststroke female, Great Britain and Italy competed and all advanced to the final. In semifinals of pool swimming, 200 meter backstroke male, France and Great Britain competed and all advanced to the final. In the final final of, of the day for these two sports, the final of pool swimming, four by 200 meter freestyle relay female, Great Britain withdrew and New Zealand swam in their place. So Great Britain qualified for the final then didn't decided it didn't want to compete and New Zealand competed instead. So yeah. Lone Penguins of Interest results. In the final, pool swimming, 100 meter freestyle, male, Brooks Curry, Mr. Mr. Brooks Curry, or maybe Mr. Brooks Curry Leonardi, placed fifth with a time of 48.00 seconds. He's been very consistent uh, over the past couple months, I'm going up 48.04, 47.90, 48.00, so he's, he's tightened up, doing really good in performance. All right, up next, the medal table is ranked silver, bronze, gold, because that's the order of my favorite of the three medals. So it's just how we're doing the medal table. And the top of the medal table today is France. They have one silver from, so just from the day, today. France, 22 June, 2022 at the World Aquatics Championships. We have France had, had, one, one silver medal, one bronze medal, and one gold medal. And then second in the medal table is Japan. And Japan won zero silver medals, zero bronze medals, and one gold medal. So that's the medals. Who won the medals? Medalists. Up first, this is chronological order, is Yukiko Inui of Japan. In artistic swimming and the solo free routine female, she won the gold medal with a very high score. It has a score of 95.3667 points. It's a high score. And then up next was Maxime Grousset, or Grousset of France in pool swimming and the 100 meter freestyle male. He won the silver medal with a time of 47.64 seconds. Up next, from France, was Analia Pigre, Pigre -y? something like that. Um, she won in the 50 meter backstroke female. She won the bronze medal with a time of 27.40 seconds. And up last in our medalists, uh, name we have mentioned before, Leon Marchand of France in pool swimming. And the 200 meter individual medley male won the gold medal with a French record time of one minute and 55.22 seconds. As fast, the European record time currently as it stands is one minute and 55.18 seconds. So he was 0 0.04 seconds, or also phrase that is four hundredths of a second off from the European record. So that'd be, uh, what does the European record mean? The f fastest European swimmer in the event ever since they started tracking times. And that swam at like public competitions that are ratified, the records are ratified at. So like someone could be a whole lot faster in an exhibition hall or in practice or in their own home pool kind of thing. But if they're not, there's a, the, these records come from like public competition um, and making sure uh, a lot of the records have, they take urine samples to see if the person has anything um, banned in their system. And they, there's a certain requirement for the timing systems and stuff like that. So it's a, it, it's the fastest tracked per certain standards time, but that doesn't necessarily mean it's the fastest ever time. Um, that's just kind of the reality of this. 
Uh, and so that's the medalist. I'm not hating on Leon Marchand. I'm just saying, I'm trying to explain where the, when people say fastest ever, it means fastest ever tracked and adhering to certain standards at the time. So if the world records change and the new standards introduced, then those old fastest evers might not actually apply anymore because standards have changed kind of thing. And then there's the random, or not random, but there will be people who swim a fa whole second faster than the world record at a national competition, but there's no urine sample taken. Um, so whether or not the person did take performance enhancing dr drugs, they don't get the world record because there there wasn't even the the resources available to get tested kind of thing. So yeah. Up last, other interest peaking results. Lonnie Pollister was left off the 4x200 meter freestyle relay female in the final and the slowest person on the relay swam almost half a second slower than Pallister's recent personal best time. The final relay team won the silver medal and Pallister received the silver medal for her efforts in the preliminaries. So this does happen sometimes where somebody will be recent, ready to go, they don't swim they're fastest in the preliminaries because they want to be, but they still swim fast and they're like, okay, I can do like a second faster or two seconds faster, three seconds faster, maybe five, drop, um, let's use her real time. She dropped over five seconds in one race or yeah, over five full seconds. So maybe she did that again in the final for this one. She did that between preliminaries and finals for a race. So she could have done that again here, um, but they decided to not choose her, even though she had a faster personal best time than was swam by one of the people on the relay. So that just happens. It's just kind of the reality of sports is who's going to swim their best? Do the people choosing the relays know? Or, and do they choose based off of projections? Do they choose based off of results? Do they choose off of what they want to see? <laughs> it's, um, it's highly dependent on whoever's doing the choosing. Um, some people are just like, you know what, let's go for it. <laughs> let's just throw the people who are dropping time on the relay and see if they drop time again. That was not what was taken. That that was not an approach taken with the line of composition. But I thought, just like, how relays are constructed is its own. In the United States of America, it's tumultuous. In some countries and with some coaches, it's very, this is how one gets on a relay. It's so, yeah, can, it's dependent the, on people choosing the relay composition. But that was day six semifinals and finals results of interest.